Hey, what's up guys? Attempt number three at recording this one because I keep I keep talking about UFC 5 as I'm recording this and then I just end up going off on some tangent. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing two one FC fighters today and I was trying to chat a bit about UFC 5 and then talk about the new Undisputed Free project that's coming out as well um, from UFC veteran and a few other guys who've been working on that. So, you know, first of all, hats off to them guys and um, keep up the good work. I'm going to put in the description for anyone who wants to check that out. The mad project, man. It's a mad project just came out of nowhere. So that's awesome. But yeah, jumping into UFC 5, what do you guys think about that? First of all, I know uh, Jaguar, I think I replied to your comment and a um, couple others as well. And a few people wanted to hear my opinion on it. And to be honest, like, I'm not too, there's nothing too hype about the game, in my opinion. Um, just because, you know, I've kind of played. UFC games so many years in a row now and it's just it's feeling a lot like more of the same what I'd like to see happen more is an expansion of the offline play you know uh, the Dana White mode that we've been asking for for a long time to add that continuity to the offline gameplay in particular is a big thing that I wanted um, and then other things are like more striking animations man particularly you know if you look back at um, the older UFC games and just kind of just not even striking animation, but defense animations as well, slipping animations. Do you know what I mean? Just to just to keep pushing the envelope when it comes to animations and um, the collisions as well, man. Like the hit reactions and all that kind of stuff. Well, I don't know why this sad song has just dropped in, but you know it might it might be it might be appropriate at this time. So we roll with it. We will roll with it. And just to bear in mind that that's going to influence the way that I'm going to speak as I'm saying this. But yeah, I mean, I guess let's just jump into nostalgia's territory here. So, Fight Night Champion had that kind of feel that that slickness where one-to-one -one with the controller i still feel like the ufc games i mean why they're better especially this latest one in terms of responsiveness it's yeah i don't know man maybe it's just my reflexes or something but whenever i pick fight night up I'm, I'm always in the zone i'm able to hone in on it and i think a part of that is the timing to do with actual fighting um and sparring stuff that i learned through sparring the timing and rhythms of things that just they don't match up one-to-one -one with the UFC games, neither, neither to Undisputed either, like ne none of them games, apart from Fight Night. Fight Night's the one game and um, where I can kind of use the rhythms that I might use in pop, 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 you know what I mean? Like, you know, imagine Tyson Fury when he's fighting, the kind of rhythms that he'll use. That's what I need in a video game, man. That's like the, the fundamental thing, the foundation of a fighting video game, in my opinion, it, it begins with the rhythm, you know, it begins with the, the, the timing, the distance, you know what I mean? With UFC, they've, they've Put a, put a good effort in to try and make it so there are different distances and stuff like that but i just want it to be more organic man i just want the collisions to feel like you know when there's a knockout it's something i haven't seen before and that's not just to do with a ragdoll that's to do with a lead up animation that's to do with a collision that's to do with the physics that's to do with the time and the rhythm that you're able to get in with the controller so that you can feel one-to-one -one with the character that you're using that's the kind of thing that would elevate it do you know what i mean that, that's what would bring it from being a video game into being something that i could use as an educational tool for my son for example and be like yo look one two you want to make sure if you're gonna go one two and then one and then do it like this you know mix up your rhythm and change it and there is a rhythm to ufc4 don't get me wrong and ufc5 in the sense that the player does have control over it but it's a video game one it's not right like like where's even tekken i could say in a way has its i don't know man it's just got the rhythm it's like I can feel it like even the moves may look silly some of the intercepts and stuff like that I can do is similar to what I would have done in sparring to try and catch them out and I feel like they just got a, I don't know man with this with the way that the current engine is it's got to be revamped but yeah I don't know who or how what the circumstances would be for someone who has that kind of knowledge and experience to come in and be able to also mix it in with the video game inside of it so yeah We'll see how the game goes when it launches. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to hype anything, man. That's, that's the, I'll leave that to the marketing department, man. I ain't about that anymore. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to just keep chatting off the cuff here. Play a little bit of the game as well, man. Just to get myself warmed up in it. We're going to be doing more kind of videos coming up in the future. So I want to make sure that getting ready for that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about was... It's got an easy mode, man. I just want to chill. The other thing I want to talk about was um, Undisputed has a sort of pioneer team going on the ufc veterans on it a couple other guys as well sorry i don't know the names but yeah they've all been over it for the last couple of years developing this version of um undisputed that we can all basically play right now um with all the new fighters so for example they got rod tang they got justin gaethje they got khabib and they've replaced pride mode with ryzen so you could even jump in and try that out as well so yeah it's it's a it's really cool what they've done there and um, I'm, I'm very excited bro that's like one of the things i'm like should i get myself a jailbroken ps3 
and then uh, mod it up and then just start recording this stuff like do you know what i mean so hang on man i actually want to play here let me just jump in here stolen jewels it's one of my other accounts yeah so we'll see where all that goes but yeah very impressive by them guys to keep up the good work i think they've done all the stats as well they've redone all the stats for the fighters and move sets as well which is really cool so yeah that's that's another project um keep your eyes on guys and yeah let's just finish this fight here man leon edwards i need to get some practicing in it if we're going to be recording and stuff i need to get some practicing but i ain't done this in time yo what are you guys saying edwards versus thompson i think i need to replace my mic as well with the cable so sorry about the audio recording quality man if it's cutting out i'm very yeah i need to have a look into it man because it's been bugging me as well um i don't know if it's to do with i changed my graphics card a while ago i don't know if it's to do with that or if it's just like the cable or if the mic is just going so i need to find out figure that out and get a new mic and that but yeah all good over here man oh this is easy mode isn't it i'm like why am i doing so well man i got good at this game when i'm not playing it <laughs> do you know what I mean? um some of the dlc fires are exciting i say mike tyson and muhammad ali in the um new ufc game so they'll be cool i might do like a career mode with if no one else is doing it on youtube which probably someone will do it with um a career mode with mike tyson why you gotta interrupt that knockout right there <laughs> yeah so let's see um and then yeah see what we'll think man maybe we can get some streams in and i'm thinking of getting like a little mic that i can speak quietly into and you guys can still hear and then that way we can do some streams as well but i don't know i also want to get back on the music man there's so much opening up in terms of possibility let's just see where things are gonna go and um also i have a copy of undisputed which i wasn't really rating that much but now i've seen marshall's latest video and he was showing off a jab from i think riddick bow and i was like okay i like that i like that so i'm kind of keen to give that one a go as well so yeah man let's just get this thing going again pick this thing up man do you know what i mean i've been doing the one a week thing so yeah that's that's gonna keep going keep that going and then just start adding more to it man hope you guys are all doing all right i watched some david coggins before i watched this as well so uh, i'm kind of gassed <laughs> i'm kind of gassed man that guy can get me like bear hyped for no reason like, i'm just sitting here in my chair i'm just like yo man i need to go running <laughs> one of them ones but anyway thank you all so much and uh i'll catch you guys next one i'm aiden i'm out of it man peace yeah yeah yeah, yeah. outros man what happened to them bro videos just end like on a cut we'll let it out natural naturally peace